He said the queen has some Shrek turns into an ogre dragon at midnight shit going on and I wasn't gonna be the one to piss on his parade. We venture into the oh, keep shit. and even though I personally had my doubts I loved to stir the pot so I made sure she caught a few strays from me but to my surprise this conspiracy theory was true as shit and half of the I haven't seen his actual was apparently death undercover. Yet. I ran around trying to spread the word but then I realized that if Rab the Avatar couldn't save Stormwind, no one could. My ego got in the way of listening to Howard and even though I thought the Ravatar could help, there was one hardcore element I had yet to face. Death. Ouch. I just died two days before raid and the odds of me making it back in time were slim. We can power level you go again. There's no time. He can't get power leveled back all the way up there. There's no way. It's not possible. I just don't Yo, think that that's going to be 60 by the time we start a raid. I can't just give he up. Said that. He said that so Unironically, the only way it's possible is either A, he takes hard drugs or account shares. Uh, true. Because he has to play 24 hours a day, and then that's also only getting level 60. I'm kind of down the bet 500 that he won't do it by raid. You also need to get attuned. It's not going to happen. But deep down, I knew this was all part of my destiny. Just give up. It's over. I'm, I almost want to show my DMs with Rav. Um, when he first died, we were talking about it. He's like, dude, if I do this, I got to know, is it possible? And I'm like, yes, it is. But here's what it requires. And he's talking. He's like, okay, but like, I, I, I don't know if I want to do this if it's like not possible. I'm like, okay, it is possible, but like, here's, and he did it at the end of the day. I told him he could. Uh, hang on. Let me see. <laughs> this is gonna suck. It's, <laughs> I mean, you've played the game. It's awful. Fair enough. <laughs> Think about playing it more now. That's how awful it is. You're going to be staring at health bars, waiting for them to get below 60%, and getting excited over that. I'd recommend getting an XP per hour add-on. See how hard you can juice it. Something to be excited for. It, yeah. So anyways, I interrupted the video. I never doubted. I told him he could do it. It is possible. It is what it is. And hundreds of Fangsley members were going to help me prove them wrong, so when Soda said this. And I need him to tell me what he's going to do. I only had one answer for him. Oh, he's got a leveling montage. <laughs> Damn. I mean, this is it. <laughs> so it's all it is. Throw the bomb. So yeah, Fangsley seems to like pull. Well, these guys, mob taggers specifically, they pull a bunch of shit, group them up, big bomb. So every single bomb cooldown is hitting at least like 15 mobs plus. So you're getting good value. And then in between those pulls on your dynamite CD, you're still getting some kills here and there. While doing that, they had to orchestrate getting the necklaces. So these necklace turn-ins, it's five each. Um, there were so many Fangsley members. You can see everyone around here. These are probably all of the people that were killing um, the mobs that dropped the necklaces. They had every single layer obtained. So every single layer where these necklaces drop, there were at least two people farming these necklaces for two days straight because there weren't enough on the auction house. So there's a whole lot under the hood going on. And that's how he skips 40 to 50 so easily here. And even idea of how many layers there are, there's like maybe five. So 10 people were just sitting there. <laughs> okay, fuck it. They all <laughs> laid down at the same time. <laughs> These fucking idiots. In just over a day, Fangsley got me back to level 50, but now my fate would be in the hands of a midget named P. Penis <laughs> from Asmongold's Roach Guild who informed me that there was no backup plan for me if things went wrong. After being awake for two days straight at this point, I wasn't... Okay, now, to this part. Um, typically, a really good ZG booster, they'll have a bunch of level 1s at the entrance of ZG, so they'll just summon you to the front. The ZG booster that was scheduled to boost Rav, if I understand correctly, died. 
So they had to get some budget bitch. Um, and this guy didn't have summoners to the front entrance of ZG. Uh, this is what he had to do in order to skip the level, like, 60 elites outside of the raid. That's... I, I've never seen what for they're about things to do. Went wrong. After being so I remember Rab messaged me, like, what the fuck point, is this? I wasn't trusting my own like, bro, I don't know what you're doing. Death, so I was absolutely not prepared for his goddamn Roblox obstacle course over elite mobs just to get to the <laughs> next step in my journey. He did his best. I know he did, but it's a budget booster. You won't lie. It's the truth. That's fine. At least we had one. Penis? What is his name? <laughs> Pepinese. And before I could even process what just happened, little PP head here was already telling me that one of my guildies died in the next step while giving me the most vague explanation of what he did wrong. Just jump. Just walk. I, hold on, I just got messaged from Trolley. He said, the, the booster in the video is the guy who was going to boost me, and I died. On the first attempt... Okay, so... Trolley died. Apparently, what he did was... So you enter ZG. I've done this before. What just and happened, little... You take a left, well, and I guess what happened is he jumped... Wrong. He did this little jump here or something and took fall damage, which broke the invis pot. And... Yeah, and then he pulled these guys. You're supposed to invis past and then stand on this rock. So we lost but a guild. I had doing made this. it to the rock where I would sit for 10 minutes at a time in hopes of getting XP orgasms from That's grinding it. raid mobs. There's no reason why you need to invis if the booster isn't bad. Uh, there is a reason. The the reason... Okay, so the booster can pull that pack that you invis pot past, but there is a very, very small chance that the mage can get dazed and die. And it's not even really the mage's fault. So it's worth just invis potting because it's much safer, consistently safer, than the mage pulling it and letting you go. And with 12 hours till raid and two levels to go, I accepted a bribe from Papa Soda to join back into the Only Fangs That's Guild. That's not what that was for. Gold that would be used for the final step of the journey. Okay, it was, it was used to buy these fucking coins. And in a 34-hour marathon, we had done it and been granted our raid spot back, but there were still doubters. Listen, I still don't think he's going to make it to raid, so what's the point of this shit? I don't think he's going to make it to raid. He's got to get to tuned. I just don't see it happening. Little did he know that I would be walking by his side an hour later to achieve my attunement to the Molten Core. And while I had successfully ascended as Rab the Avatar, Howard could not complete the journey with me as he was still loyal to my former dead self. I asked his brothers and they informed me that only his ghost existed in the world while he himself remained tethered to his dead <laughs> owner and rumor was his ghost could be found in the Plaguelands. He's just making my shit My friends in Fangsley located his ghost and supported me as I tamed him to fight by my side for the remainder of my journey. Holy shit. Larian Studios needs to hire this man. <laughs> It Divinity was now time to finish it. my attunements, but we weren't out of the clear yet. Target dummy if you got it. Kill the other guys in the back here. I just, yeah, I feared them. I feared them. Yeah. yeah the, the Holy shit. The what is this pull? What is this pull? What the fuck? What is the this? Thing? Okay, they skipped that pack. This is pretty, this is pretty monks, guys. Okay. Yeah, this might be a Petra. This, guys, just, can, can we AWE them down? Yeah, I'm killing you. Oh, guys, stuff. stay here. There's you, double like, fire destroyer. Get out. That's a Petri out. Just get the fuck out. Everyone's I, I already Petri'd. I got scared. Okay, guys, do we, do we all have Petri's? 
A few hours after hitting 60 I had to use a pussy potion just to survive the attunement but no matter how little sleep or how deadly the tasks were ahead of me, I had a death to avenge and a destiny to fulfill. Wait, is that his corpse? Holy shit, he- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this guy made another hunter, got level 60, and walked back to his other hunter's corpse and looked over it. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dang. Is he going to get attuned next to his corpse? No way. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> They're throwing snowballs at Anixia. <laughs> He bad <laughs> And with that, I had overcome the final hardcore element, death. And it was finally time for what we had all been waiting for. The right. first boss was the bitch Onyxia whose sneaky storm wind simps killed my first character and even though my heart had a beat faster than an EDM concert, the instructions were clear. Step on a crack break your mother's back and then when purple Charizard takes flight I bust a nut on all my cooldowns. Yeah, that's pretty much it actually. He's not even on After the, the most meet. intense 17 seconds we were in the final phase and to literally everyone's surprise we had no deaths yet. Stop damage, stop damage. Stop damage. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Good. And that's it. Easy life, baby. Yeah. We did it, let's Two go. Two minutes. Two minutes. That was easy as shit. Easy as shit. But when my own performance was subpar I had to channel my inner WoW player to find the cause. It was now time for us <laughs> to venture into the Molten Core and for me to use the following footage from my comprehensive guide on how to one-shot this place. The first boss everyone turns their monitors off and jams a one-button rotation. Yeah. At one point Howard's ghost was looking like he needed some loving so I spent my fight mending his wounds. The second was a large dog who would occasionally get swollen and us hunters would have to epipen him before he bit off a tank's head. That's boss numero it. 3 was the first time I saw myself on the damage meters for a second before it disappeared and never came back. Gar was the first boss where people thought we'd have deaths and it's because every time one of his little sperm cells pieces out everyone around That's him is all right. But... but we made it through with no deaths. The next boss had a mechanic where one single person could kill everyone if they didn't get out of raid when they were marked. Italian, Italian, Italian guy, guy, living bomb, Italian guy, I'm calling it out. Italian we guy, almost died there. And all I'm saying is thank Actually. God no one was apparently listening to Soda because his add-on broke and whispered every single person in raid that they were the target every time even when... I didn't get... Okay, people told... I forgot about this. People told me about this. That's not me. Someone made a character with main fang with a weird accent over the eye and just started whispering this to everyone. <laughs> they weren't. Honestly, I had my few moments pretty crafty. To shine. I want to pull it, but I also don't yet. Yeah, we're I think gonna you pull. can thread the needle. Uh, Rav, sure. you want to try and thread that needle? Pull that core hound. Oh, you, you fucked this up. Oh, God. Max, you have you have oh, oh, God. Okay, oh, Adamax, you're bubbling. You. Adamax, you're bubbling. You. Yeah, this is me. I got it. You're fucking right, we are. Rav, pull it. I believe in the Ravatar. Ice in my face! Right in the middle? Oh. Every time, okay. baby. Miz, you're tanking it. Miz, you're tanking it. Femboy hole, bubble. Femboy hole, bubble. Before we spent 13 minutes talking about the next boss and then a total of 13 seconds killing him. Holy shit, he's just melting. 
fuck this, just kill him. If there's a mechanic on the next boss it must have called in sick that day because I wasn't even tabbed into the game for this one but then <laughs> the next lava lamp gone rogue raid boss had a job for me. I would have to get the attention of one of his lil slaves and bring them to a tank. The only problem was they got a glance of Fandy's tits and for the life of me I couldn't distract it over. No one noticed. All right, just do damage. We now had two bosses left and I felt like things were going a little too smooth so I had a plan. Ampi and I spent the next 15 minutes devising an evil okay. plan where I would feign death during the next boss and he would send out a raid warning saying that I had died. The whole thing was going to be dank as fuck until my feigned death decided to just not update my frames so we only got a taste of the reaction we were going for. We are on moon now, the last one, and that is it. Yo, threat! <gasps> Rev? Rev is dead. What? No. What? Mm. Oh my god, Fucking you're so finish, dumb. Finish the game. Uh, what's, a, what's a raid alert? Yeah, he's so so dumb. Dumb. He's not, is he? God, he's fucking dying! Oh my god. Away from the and then there was Rag. Ooh. I fell on fire. We got someone low. We got someone real low. Group five. Group five. Come back. I'm coming back. Jay the bar. <laughs> I got you on that. <laughs> it's not even playing. And with that, months of hard work, sleepless nights, and gold spent, by Fangsley and other viewers carrying idiot streamers like myself who barely lifted a finger and we had done it. But in the midst of the celebrations, deep down I knew there was still one thing I had to do. And there was only one way I could do it. I'd transfer my character so that I could come back to life and call him one last time. But I knew what had to be done. He was being extra clingy after having not been fed because while I was busy fulfilling my destiny, he was stuck back, tethered to a dead character who could no longer take care of him. I arrived at the spot that I had found him, his family around to welcome him back. Oh my God. I looked at him, and for one last time, I slashed Pat Howard. fucked up <laughs> how long is this video goodness gracious <laughs> so after what started for me asking to join a guild full of people who had no idea who I was who is this rav guy is it the league grab guy? I don't know who the fuck grab. I experienced the craziest leveling journey not once, but twice. I was welcomed by the most incredible community I've seen online, and I got emotional over a pig in a video game. And that is the story of Rav the Avatar. But what I didn't realize was that me letting Howard go was what I needed to release his ghost, and I immediately knew what this meant. Is this a Disney movie? <laughs> okay.